In this video, I'm going to show you 7 Gboard settings that you must change on your phone. So if your current keyboard is in Gboard, then it's extremely simple to get it. All you have to do is go to the Play Store and install the Gboard app and then follow the instructions. So there are different ways of going to Gboard settings. One way is just by opening the keyboard, then clicking on this arrow that's over here and then you'll find the settings icon right over here and if you click on it, you're in settings. And the second way is from your phone's settings. So for that, just go to settings, then go to keyboard and over here, you'll find an option called Gboard settings and if you click on it, you'll reach the same page. So now if you've reached till here, let's get started. So the first setting is related to symbols. So I'm sure you'll be spending a lot of time searching for symbols, whether it's an asterisk, if it's a bracket or anything like that. But there's a way to make this process quicker. For that, just go to preferences and then scroll down. Here you'll find a setting called long press for symbols. So you'll just have to enable this. And now I'll show you how it works. So here, as you can see on my keyboard, next to every alphabet on the top right, there's a symbol. So let's say I want to put a hashtag symbol. So I can just long press on S. And as you can see, the hashtag has come. The same way, let's say I want to put a question mark. Then I can just long press on M. And now it's come. And honestly, this has saved me a lot of time. Because after a while, you'll remember where most of the symbols are. And then it'll save a lot of time. Now I've gone back to settings. And the second one is going to be how to access numbers faster. So again for this, just go to preferences. And the first option, which is number row, you'll have to enable it. And now if I go back to my keyboard, here you can see that all the numbers are on top. So this makes typing numbers a lot easier and faster. The next setting is related to emojis. So if you're someone that uses emojis often, then I'm sure that this will be useful to you. So just click on Emojis, Stickers and GIFs that's written over here. And over here, enable the first option that's Emoji Fast Access Row. So basically what this does is that will show the most frequently used emojis when you're typing. So I'll enable this and here you can see how it works. On the top, all of my frequently used emojis have come and this will make it much easier to use them. Now the fourth setting is Dictionary Shortcuts. So here you'll find an option called Dictionary. So just click on it. And then just click on Personal Dictionary. Click on the keyboard. And over here, you can add shortcuts. So as you can see, I've already given one for Happy Birthday. And the shortcut for that is HBD. And to add a new one, I can click on the plus button on the top right. And let's say I want to write Subscribe. And the shortcut for that is sub. Then, then I can just save this by going back and it's saved. So now every time I type sub, then subscribe will come. As you can see, the first option over here is subscribe. So this is useful when you need to write the same words quite often. The next setting is one which I find extremely useful and that's auto spacing after punctuation. So this is currently in beta trials and it's only for the English US keyboard. So I've added that keyboard and I'll show you how it works. So first, just click on text correction over here. Then scroll down and you'll find an option called auto space after punctuation. So enable it. So now I'll show you how it works. So I'll just type hello and put a comma. And as you can see, it's automatically put a space. So I find this really cool and I hope that they add it to more keyboards soon. The next setting is related to clipboard. So for that, just click on clipboard that's over here. So in clipboard, the setting which I like the most is the first one. So in this setting, it'll show text and images which you've copied in the suggestions bar. And this will make it much easier to paste it when you need to. So I'll show you how it works. So for now, I'll copy the text, hello. And as you can see, it's already come in the suggestions bar. And if I just click on it, then it'll get pasted. 
and now the last setting is the long press delay so this is basically how long you need to press a key for it to get long pressed so i'll show you how it works just go to preferences scroll down and over here the last option is key long press delay so currently it's set at 300 milliseconds but if you want to long press on a key by pressing it for less time then you can reduce this so i can make it 200 milliseconds so i'll just click on okay and now to long press on a key i'll have to press it for less time so again this is helpful if you want to save time while typing so these are the seven settings and if you want to know five gmail settings that you should change then check out this video over here that's it for today goodbye